Good afternoon and welcome to our channel, theladiesnews.com. Today we are going to reveal some of the extraordinary news that was going through around the world. Please watch the video till the end and get all the latest updates on our Facebook page and YouTube channel. Mexico bar attack leaves 25 dead. At least 25 people have been killed in a Mexican bar fire that police say was set deliberately by gang members. Another 11 were badly injured in the blaze in the Caballo Balanco bar in Puerto Colacos, a port city in Veracruz, on Tuesday night. Survivors said men believed to be gangsters blocked the exit before setting the venue on fire. Mexican media reported that the bar was prepared with gunfire and Molotov cocktails were thrown inside. President Andres Manuel said that the attack was shameful and that an investigation would look into how some of the suspects has recently been freed from custody. There would be a particular investigation into where there was any conclusion with authorities in common connection with their release, he said. Veracruz Regional Governor Quetzi Garcia said police were in pursuit of the attackers and vowed that they will not go unpunished. Later, he added that one suspect named Ricardo was known as La Loca, the crazy one, has, had been released 48 hours after his arrest last month. Outside the White House bar, police and ambulances crowded the street. One woman standing nearby told a reporter for AFP that she was looking for her son. Like many others there, her son worked as a cleaner at the bar. She had already searched the local hospitals. Nothing, nothing's having nothing. Nobody knows anything. I was told to go to the hospital, but how would I know which hospital? They have to tell me. Gang members allegedly burst in, blocked all exits. I just want to know if he's okay, she said. One witness said that all the exits were reportedly blocked off before the fire was kindled. Officially, prosecutors are only saying that the fire may have been the result of a vile attack and are still investigating. The Veracruz State Prosecutor's Office denied have, having ever held the suspect known as Ricardo, saying instead of that federal prosecutors has been responsible. Gang violence often driven by the drug trade is not uncommon in Veracruz, one of the most violent regions in Mexico. It's a popular route for afflict drugs shipments and or human trafficking designated for the United States and reveal gangs battle for territory and dominance. Last year, a mass grave of suspected drug cartel victims were found containing the schools of at least 166 people. In 2017, another mass grave with 250 victims in it was found. 